Hi everybody, I'm here at the Isaac Walton League, the Bush Lake Chapter, and it's time for Nature Drawing with Nancy. So grab your pencils and your markers and coloring utensils if you want, and of course paper, and we'll see you inside. Okay, hi friends. Now we're inside the beautiful lodge here at Bush Lake, Isaac Walton League, and um, I am going to teach you today to draw a fox, which is one of our favorite winter friends that our fox you see all winter long hanging out in the, in the woods and in the open fields. So grab what you need as a reminder, your pencil as your um, to make your guides, and then um, some type of black marker to outline the character after you put your guides in. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna draw a fox. And I think they're kind of tricky to draw. Once, once you practice, you'll get, get it. But uh, here's the shape that we're gonna start with. It's, it's an oval with a flat bottom, okay? That's gonna be your guide. And you're thinking to yourself, this doesn't look at all like a fox. Well, not yet. So what you're going to do is, I like to think of this as almost a fan shape. I'm drawing a fan shape. I'm still using my pencil as my guide at the top of the oval. Okay. Now I can get my black marker out. And I want you to put a triangle without the top, without the bottom right here. And a triangle over here. That's obviously going to be the ears. You can draw a line through each ear if you'd like. Then connect them. Now, the fox is going to have some puffy fur on the side of his head. So I want you to make some zigzagged lines just outside of that fan shape. Now you can follow the guide all the way down to a point. And that's going to be the head. Now, I actually, I did bring an eraser. So if I were you, I would erase the round top there. Because now we're going to, we don't need that to show. So here's an important uh, detail for the fox. First of all, I want you to put an oval nose in right at the bottom. Now what makes a fox look like a fox, a drawing of a fox, makes it look like a real fox, is these lines that come through the face, okay? So when you color this in, this is orange and this is white. And now I'm gonna put the eyes in little circles like that. Now I can follow my guide down a little bit here and I think I made my guide a little long, so I'm just going to erase a little bit of it. I'm not going to color the bottom in yet, though, okay, or draw it in. Now you're going to draw the legs. They're skinny little legs. I think you've seen pictures of foxes. They have skinny legs. And when you're coloring in your fox, I want you to remember that these little legs are black, okay? Now, remember I talked about the whiskers, so we want to show those. So draw three whiskers, just to keep it simple, on each side of the fox there. Now, here's the part I love to draw, okay? And that is that tail. Remember I told you the tail keeps them warm and helps them communicate, and it's long, and it's beautiful. Now, the very tip of the foxtail is white. This would be all orange. But we're not quite done. I want to show the back legs, so I'm just going to do a little curve here and draw straight across here. Now you've got a fox. Now I guess I this is here. That's okay. You can just draw in some lines. So let's go over the color again. Orange here orange body. Sometimes you can leave a little white oval. This could be white. On some foxes it's all orange, so it, it varies. This is orange and of course the sides here are white. Now you've got a cute fox. I would like to challenge you to draw a fox 
pouncing in the, fo in the uh, field. Um, if you can master that, you're on your way to being a really good nature drawer. All right. So um, now that you've drawn a fox, and there are so many different ways to draw foxes, by the way. I showed you a very simple way, but um, you can practice and come up with maybe your own style of fox, too. But let's share, I want to tell you some fox facts that I learned. First of all, foxes here in Minnesota are basically two species. There's a red fox and the less common relative, the gray fox. Most likely you're going to see a red fox around here. And it's a mammal. It lives two to five years. It's an omnivore, which means it eats both plants and animals. A female fox is called a vixen, and a male is called a dog or a tod. Babies are kits or pups. They live in dens or dry bush piles. They find Mrs. Wright in February, and she will have five to 10 pups. Now here's some cool fox facts. They can react, um, retract their claws just like cats. They have supersonic hearing, kind of like Superman has. They can hear a mouse crawling under the snow 40 um, 40 yards away. Think of that, how great their ears are. When they're afraid, it looks like they're grinning, but it actually that means they're scared. And they can jump, I think you've seen pictures of this, they can jump straight up in the air and pounce down on maybe a mouse or something in a field, some rodent, and that's really fun to watch. Their eyes glow green and yellow at night. Here's something I didn't know about a fox. I've always knew they had whiskers on their, on their muzzle, but they also have whiskers on their legs, which help them find their way. Um, very interesting. Their big bushy tails, which we drew on our fox, not only provide balance while chasing their down prey, but also help communicate messages to other foxes. And also, here's the best part about the tail. It keeps them warm while sleeping. They can cuddle up in it. How do foxes help us? They eat rodents and keep their population under control, which is a really good thing. Do not feed a fox. They're so cute, but they're not pets. If a fox gets used to coming into your yard, uh, they may be crossing busy roads and get hit, or they may become too used to humans, and that's not a good thing for a fox. Um, if you have mice or rodents near your home, never use poison to kill them, okay? Use traps, because if you poison a mouse and a fox eats that mouse, he will be poisoned, and we don't want that to happen. So never use any type of poison around wildlife. Thank you for joining me drawing a fox. I would suggest you take a nice uh, orange marker and color your fox in now. And by the way, friends, I just wanted to tell you that if you go to the Isaac Walton Lake website, you can download your own coloring sheets, how to color or draw a fawn, uh, a fox, and a squirrel. So you will see those up on our website soon. Thanks for joining me and uh, keep drawing. Mm -hmm.